Hi, this is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. Formed in 1994, the Foo Fighters have gone on to become one of modern rock's most successful bands. Today, we focus specifically on one of their greatest tracks, one which permeated popular culture since its release in 1997, and even led to David Letterman attributing his healing from open heart surgery to it. The track, Everlong. The second single from their 1997 album, The Colour and the Shape, there are many an explanation as to the inspiration behind Everlong. It's often understood to be about vices and substance abuse of Dave Grohl's good friend and former bandmate Kurt Cobain. However, in later interviews, Grohl, who wrote the track, said it was written about a particularly low time in his life. According to an interview with Mojo magazine, this song harks back to a time in 1996 when his life was a little out of control to say the least. Having recently divorced from photographer Jennifer Youngblood, he wound up homeless and sleeping on the floor of a friend's house in a sleeping bag. He had no bank account, no possessions, and both his drummer, William Goldsmith, and guitarist, Pat Smear, were on the verge of quitting the Foo Fighters. And so, somehow, in the midst of all this confusion and insecurity, Dave Grohl penned Everlong in just 45 minutes. Grohl said that this song is about being connected to somebody so much that not only do you love them physically and spiritually, but when you sing along with them, you harmonize perfectly. The song evokes real love, that feeling of shyness yet excitement, like the first time for anything. It's a feeling that's so strong that you want it to last forever, even though you kind of know nothing lasts forever. Grohl says he came up with a riff when they were recording Monkey Wrench. While sat in the studio in Seattle, Monkey Wrench was in a drop D tuning, and so in between takes he was falling around and he stumbled across that opening chord. Admitting that it sounded like Sonic Youth's schizophrenia, he recorded a very raw demo of it that very few people have heard, which, he's joked, he should release. The video was directed by then up-and-coming French film director Michel Gondry, who at the time had been showcasing some of the finest music videos the world had ever seen, in particular with Iceland songstress Björk. When pitching his initial ideas for the video to Grohl himself, it took him over half an hour to explain the complex and creative storyline, which originally involved talk of Daryl Hannah playing the love interest. At which point Dave had to jump in and remind Gondry that the track was only in fact four minutes long. In the video, Grohl is trying to protect his girlfriend. When he sees that she's in trouble, his hand grows abnormally large and beats down anyone that tries to hurt her. Everlong is lyrically and sonically perfectly formed and depicts that kind of insatiable love that every man and woman hopes to one day find. And whether an anthem for being dumped as a tender adolescent or helping one of America's most loved TV hosts, like David Letterman, say goodbye to his fans after a 33-year career, it seems there's something in this emo rock masterpiece for nearly every rock lover to resonate with. This is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. You can shop for the greatest selection of music gear on earth in store or at guitarcenter.com.